Hello, welcome back. I'm Christine and I'm super excited today to share something with you guys. I will be unboxing my plant purchase that I got from Taylor Greenhouses. This whole thing started when I was looking for a Peperomia Incana that I saw on Facebook. And I've seen it several times now and I'm curious about it. I really like Peperomias and they say it's fuzzy. So hello, I love fuzzy things and um, yeah. Really sort of excited for that plant. Anyway, so I was looking for it and um, Steve Leaves didn't have it, Josh Frogs didn't have it, and a couple other places was just out and I just came across um, Taylor Greenhouses. Never bought from them before, didn't look up any reviews. I don't know, I feel like because of these small greenhouses, I kind of just trust that they know what they're doing. Although that's gone terribly wrong before. But anyway, I don't learn my lesson, so I did it again anyway. Because of this plant, it led me to look at their Hoyas and the Begonias and their Orchid Cati. And Lord and behold, um, I don't know how many hours later, but I got 25 plants in the boxes in front of me right now. And I really want to open them. Uh, yeah, so shall we do it? Here we go, guys. Gonna open up the box. Five pounds, seven ounces is how heavy this one is. This is the heavier of the two. So I assume there's more plant matter. So this is gonna be totally random. I hope they actually labeled what the plants are. Ooh, so they were shipped with little pots. Everything is taped, it looks like. So that shouldn't be bad. So they're all like wearing, they look like they're little wearing little hats. I'm just trying to, see. I don't really like it when there's like so much dirt everywhere. Okay, okay. This is one of the Hoyas. Oh, this is one, this is one of the Hoyas I'm actually really excited about. Okay, let me throw this away. This Hoya is called the Poopa Plate Calyx Chimera. I'm sure I'm butchering it, but it's Chimera. Hoya Poopa Calyx Chimera. 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 Okay. And the more common name of this plant is actually called the Royal Hawaiian Purple. It has two leaves. I'm gonna assume that they are, I'm gonna save the rubber bands because I always like to um, recycle them. Let's put that down a moment. Remove this moist paper. Maybe I should have had the trash can closer to me. And yep, it's only one single cutting. So I'm a little bit confused about the pot size. This is not a three inch pot. Pretty sure. We shall see. Or maybe I read it wrong. I must have read it wrong. Oh my God, this is the Peperomia Incana. <laughs> It is soft, especially the back of them. And the leaves are super thick. Uh, it's like a teddy bear, big fat one. So actually the shape and everything really reminds me of um, the other Peperomia that I really like. I don't remember the name of it right now, but it's right there. 
I think some people call it like the silver, no, no, the Peperomia coin. I don't know. <laughs> but look how soft it is. Do you want to close up? Okay. Oh, right. Should I not do that? I'll just do the newspaper part. Cause that just seems like. <gasps> okay, so they they need to they need to lie down because they are too top heavy. So I actually got multiple of the peperomia and canas because I'm thinking that my friend's gonna want one, or my friends will want one. Not sure who. So this one, the dirt kind of got everywhere. Uh, it's gonna make a mess. Gonna make a mess. I haven't quite figured out how to like properly open these yet. These hats that they have on. Oh, this one's beautiful. This is one of the orchid cactus I got. Yeah, I thought the leaves were really cool. It is very cool. It is the Rusprasalis crispata. Butchering it. Yeah. So cool. Okay. Open it down without breaking it. Yeah, so I've been really into orchid cat tie lately because I love the fact that they hang down and they're like, it's very confusing. They're, they're still a tropical plant, but they are a cactus and they can't take direct sunlight. Um, yeah, it's really interesting to me. Oh my God, this is so small. Oh my God, these plants. I'm sorry, but these plants are way smaller than I thought they would be based on their price. Anyway, this is a begonia lasata. Yeah, I'm not gonna open these, but this is a leaf cutting that I got. It's okay. I, I just, I guess I just read it wrong. Why does this, why does this always happen to me? I feel like this keeps happening to me. I keep ordering things online and then they don't end up, you don't end up thinking what they, what it is. It's like completely something else. Ah, <sighs> okay. This is, you can't tell, but it is a begonia. <laughs> yeah, it's just a little tight right now. All right, let's try to make it look a little bit better. Everything grows, right? That's the whole point. This did get a little bit uh, smushed. This is one of the, I remember this one because Steve Leaves said, quotes, this is the this is one of the most exciting hybrids, or exciting new hybrids. <laughs> it is the Begonia Viva Aldi. Yeah. So, now you know that if you're gonna order from Tyler Houses, you're literally gonna get just a clipping, a rooted one, I assume. Cause this is a lot of dirt to be shipping around with no roots on them. I don't know, I think I should stop getting plant mail. <laughs> I kind of don't really want to cut these. I wish they'd come with instructions of how to take these apart. <laughs> I, I've opened up like, seven now and I still don't know what I'm doing. 
Okay, this is another Hoya that I do not have, and the name of this one is the Lemon Nanica? Ayaka? Lemon Nanica? Yes? You wanna say something? Say something? I don't know. I guess I'm not really going through what I wrote, so here, so before I got this, um, the descriptions were shiny foliage, fast grower, uh, bright green, which it is, and then, um, yeah, and I was thinking, oh, that'd be nice because most of the Hoyas that I have now are dark green, so this is definitely different, and it has a new growth already, so that's exciting. Whoops, this one, the hat just came off by itself. Ooh, this one's pretty. Ooh, is this one what I think it is? This is supposed to be the replacement, I thought. It says, uh, oh, it is. Oh my God. Okay, this is the fuzzy leaf Hoya. Ha, 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 ha. So, the inch, oh my God, I'm really happy with this one. It kind of looks like a, a Carnosa a little bit, but it's lighter green and it's definitely fuzzy in the back. Oh my gosh. Okay, okay. This, 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 this one's a good one. Like the other ones, I was just expecting a little bit more growth. Okay, okay, you can do this, Christine. How did they get these hats on? Like seriously. I don't get it. Oh man. Oh boy. This is another cactus. Ooh, they, they wrote, this is really funny. It's like the plant got a tattoo. You're a Rick. So the story behind this, I feel like this is just a never ending story because this is the second Rick Rack I've gotten. And the whole purpose of trying to get this one was to hopefully get a fuller plant. Well, here I am with two sticks again. <laughs> I know, I, I need to just stop doing this. I just need to outright just buy the, the $60 plants that they have and then just call it a day. I almost wanted to just go like this. You guys didn't see, whoa. I just cut it right across. This is, oh, another begonia. Okay, so this, I already talked about this one because I got two of these, but this is the begonia. I forget the name of it. Oh, yeah, the begonia list. Listra, 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 Listra. Anyway, I've seen it on Instagram and it has this like really cool, like bright green line through it. And the, you can't tell right now, but it has really cool, um, the way the leaf is shaped is really cool looking. So I got two of those. I guess it was a good thing, now that I know what I got myself into. I mean, it's a little bit upsetting only because they could easily show you a, a picture of the actual size plant you're getting and just make it less ambiguous. I know, should I get over it? I'm trying to really hard. Okay. Ah, oh, this one's cute. This is the Peperomia variegated saccadens, which is also known as um, mini philodendron. And yeah, when I saw it online, I thought it was pretty cute. Yeah, I really like the variegation. And it's a Peperomia, so the leaves are nice and waxy and thick. And I can see why it looks like 
they would call it a fake philodendron. It looks, the leaf shape definitely looks like it. Cool. Yeah, this one's pretty. Okay. So about that plant, that plant was also called, um, known as the Cupid Peperomia. Yeah, they're trailing, so good trailing plants. Nice trailing plants is always nice. And um, it's also a Peperomia, which means it's super easy to grow. So this is the, oh, I didn't even recognize it, this plant, because it's so tiny. But um, it is a cousin of Hoya's, and the common name of it is called the String of Nickels. And this one, how do you say this? Is Dischadia Namulera. Let me see if I wrote anything for this one. I'm pretty sure I did. Yeah, so it is like the cousin of Hoya's. I do not think that it has um, like cluster of blooms like a Hoya does, but on Instagram, a lot of people um, have been showing this plant and the leaves are supposed to be like really thick and round and I guess these are really young right now. So they're less so, but I can see how this could be charming. And there's new growth, so that's always good to sign when you're buying a plant. Now I'm just thinking like, we didn't need to buy that new shelf for, for our 30 new plants anymore. <laughs> Ooh, angel wing begonia. Is this the Devon? No, this is the, oh, this is the matchmaker. Oh, this is pretty, even though it, you know, it looks a little, look at this, can you guys see? Like this pair of wings is really pretty. Begonia Matchmaker, and this is really thick. Cool. Nice, I like that one too. I like them all. I'm getting, I'm getting better at taking the hat off. Except I keep forgetting about the tape at the bottom. I can feel it is a, it should be a orchid. Oh no! Oh wow, these leaves are huge. It is some sort of pep, uh, poop calyx. Oh, the leaf broke, the new leaf broke. It's the red button, yay! I wanted this. Red button, oh my, it's so stiff. Super thick leaf, super healthy. And has new growth. Sweet! Oh, this is the vanilla plant. They call it the orchid. Let me see. This one is called, yeah, the vanilla orchid. It's variegated. They also had the um, solid green one, but I went for the, for the variegated one. The leaves are pretty. They're very thick and it's shiny as you can see. Yes. Not sure if this we're gonna be able to make this baby flower, but it's interesting. This is this is how um, you get vanilla through this through this through this kid. Ooh, I'm remembering the tape part. I'm a fast learner. Dun dun dun, and the reveal. 
this is, oh, this is the uh, orchid cacti. <laughs> it got written on again. It is the cream and gold. Oh, wow, it's really nice and thick. This is a nice old mature piece. Yeah, the flower is ginormous on this thing. So I was really curious about it. Well, now I got myself one piece of it. Maybe the goal is you, you just don't need a bunch. You just need, oh yeah. You just need one strand of it and you're good. <sighs> so bad. I was just complaining to Dan about plant prices earlier. I don't know what world we live in anymore. Uh-oh, this one's very... I don't understand. I don't get it. Tape is my enemy. Ooh, this one's super long. Oh, this one's big. This is the coral dance. The color of this flower is really pretty. I really like um, peach plants. Or sorry, peach flowers. Color is peach. Can't talk. Anyway. Hope the roots was okay, because it the box is a little bit banged up. Another one! Yay! Usually like the ones you find around here, they're just white. This is gonna make a hot mess. Thank you. So just set that there. It is messy. All right, there's only two more in this box. We'll get a second box going. So that means, well, so far I feel like we've gotten quite a few of the Hoyas, so more Begonias coming up. This should be a Hoya. Just guessing its size. Oh, yay! Yeah, so I have this plant already, but it was very small and doesn't look very good. So that's why I got this. This is a Hoya Kenyana variegated, variegata. Oh, so beautiful, here. I love the vari variation the variegation and the fact that it has like these uh, very sol uh, dark outlines on the leaves it makes them really pretty. Yay! Yeah, the cutting that I got from the trade, they're not doing very well. I feel like, and this is just based on my experience so far, I feel like when plants are not healthy and then you get a cutting from them, they just don't look very good. Meaning like they just don't do as well as cuttings that come from a plant that's super healthy. <gasps> oh my God. Okay. <laughs> this plant also has a tattoo. Look at those little balls. This is called, um, well, I know it as the mistletoe cactus, but the official name is called the Rosellus Ramulusa Losa Ramulusa. I don't know, but here we go. <laughs> the little balls. It's where little white flowers come in, um, and also when this plant is stressed, it turns more and more red. It's really pretty. I have another very small cutting from another, from an Etsy buyer. So this, they'll join each other. But that one was, um, say it's slightly bigger. Okay. Here we go. All right, box number two. This is the smaller of the two. So this should go slightly faster. This seemed to have less dirt 
moving about it. This is the little, this is the little Hoya. Oh, so fuzzy. Oh, it's fuzzy. And look at the color. It's so pretty. That is a winner, my dear. It's like, it's, uh, how can I describe it? I mean, you can see there is a darker outline and the leaves are quite thick and they're very small right now. I wonder if they're gonna stay that way. Anyway, this is a Hoya. This Hoya actually has two names. So right now it's labeled as the Hoya Zang, Zang, Zangi, Zangai. And the other name, which I also cannot pronounce, is called the Hoya Oh, here we go. The Hoya Bailope? Bilope? I don't know. Anyway, it was interesting because... Okay, well, let's, let's, let's stop there for a second. Wait, this is the, one of the smallest uh, flowers in the Hoya family. Smaller than the DS70. I mean, I don't know what that is. And it's really funny because I thought I had this plant already. But actually, in fact, the woman who I traded with just told me the wrong thing because she probably thought she had one of these, but in fact, she has the DS70. So that's what I have. Ah, oh, this one's so nice. Okay, I feel better. <laughs> and I got two of them. Because <laughs> I didn't know how big they were, but now I guess I'm glad I did. This is a Peperomia Priscata. Wow, it's so big, you can't even see it. <laughs> okay, let's find it. Is it in there? Are you actually in here? Wow, this is crazy to me. How tiny these are. That's like one strand. I'm not even gonna tell you guys how much I pay for these because you can obviously go onto the website and find that yourself, but this is insane. That is funny. I should show you the bowl I have back behind us. Like I have an entire bowl of this. <laughs> uh. I guess, whatever you need to do to run a business. I don't know. I just, I didn't read my own fault. Maybe it was three centimeters. Each pot is three centimeters, not three inches. So this is also another Hoya Zangiai. Still just as Pretty and beautiful. The border on that one was not as strong. So that was interesting. Oh, I didn't. Well, they're the same. Almost. Here. Sad by sad. One of them is definitely darker. And the other one is more green. So that's interesting. I'm glad I got two then. Because this one's way cuter than this one. I mean, they're both very cute, but you know, I like, I really like the dark border. And of course, seeing new growth on them makes me happy. Makes me happy. I'm sorry guys, I'm not in a better mood. My period is, the first day is always the worst. Which one is this one? This one is the Italian ice. Borgonia Italian ice, ice baby. So as some of you might know, begonias obviously change, their leaves change. You know, you can tell this one is super red and then it'll get 
when it gets bigger, it'll you know continue to evolve. It's supposed to be very silver. So right now we can see that it is like this kind of like a silvery green. So more green than silver for sure. And I wouldn't worry about that too much. I mean, begonias just don't travel well. I'm really surprised they shipped everything with all this dirt. I don't know what I would have done. I guess I normally like to ship things bare root, but if you're, I don't know. I'm not in the business of selling plants, really. Ah! Okay, here's another orchid cactus. And this one's called Just Beautiful. Let me see what I can tell you about Just Beautiful, if anything. Just Beautiful, I wrote to myself, to you, I'm a sucker for peach flowers, peach color flowers, and orchid cactus. Tape, two pieces of tape, Christine, not just one. Is this the other one? Yeah, this is the same one. I got two of the Lemonica's Hoya. It's so very pretty. I wouldn't have paid what I paid for them knowing their size. But maybe the Hoyas are more worth it because they're more rare. Whereas I'm not sure about some of the other ones. Maybe they're rare too. I don't know. I honestly have no idea. I'm not, I'm not one to like go looking for super rare plants to buy. Yeah, this is the red button again. Although they say it's rare on a website I wrote, I actually almost got a pot of these, I think a six inch pot of these red buttons. So they're not that rare. The seller just never responded. It was really weird. She said she was gonna do it and then she didn't. I just never followed up. Okay. Oh, this is the, <laughs> this is the Roselius. Hulalettina, and on one of the nurseries that I like, they also had it, and they, let me see where is it, I can't find it right now. Yeah, this, the nickname of this is called the seaweed cactus or snowdrop cactus, and quotes, Perhaps best to be considered this skinny guy to be more odd than attractive. And then I wrote, and then I was like, uh, yeah, that's my kind of plant. So it kind of like goes in and out with these like weird, I forget what you call those. I can't think today. So that's cute. That's rare. Maybe I should be more excited because they're so rare. Ouch. I honestly have no idea how rare they are. Maybe they're super rare. And I should be so lucky to have gotten them. Maybe. Ooh. Another cane begonia. This is called Good and Plenty. Let's see what I wrote for Good and Plenty. Cane begonia. The leaves are supposed to look super dark and they look super pretty. And they do. Look at this one. It's 
it's very dark and the wings are, I don't know what size they're capable of getting, but it does look pretty. Yeah, I can't wait to see all these grow. Even though I know, I'm always like, oh, they're so small. And oh, they got smushed in the mail. And I get upset about it for like a little bit. And then I love them again. I just like to complain. <laughs> Dan knows that. Complain. Oh, wow, look how full this one is. Oh, the leaves are super thick too. Yeah, I see this, like other people having it all the time and I'm like, man, why can't they just sell it here? Super thick leaves. Yeah, see, like I would be more happy if more of them were like this. Like it's still not great for $10 a pop, but like on average, I think it was about $10 a pop. But. I think you, you get a little more growth, just, just a tad. Am I sounding super ungrateful right now? I don't know. I guess I just have this expectation of how much we should be paying for plants, but maybe, maybe that expectation is wrong. Ooh. Oh, it's, another, it's the same one as I had earlier, but you can see how beautiful the leaves are. They're super thick, oh my God. So I would say the plants are really healthy, even though some of them, you know, look like they got a little smushed in the shipping process, but I can tell that all the plants are super healthy. This is really pretty. This is the Pupa Calyx um, Chimera. And then the common name was like Royal something or another. Uh, Royal Hawaiian Purple. It's very pretty. I am very excited to watch this baby grow the new. Yeah, a lot of times the Pupa Calyx, their new leaves are nice and shiny. And this one, I think it's um, the new leaves are this color and then they slowly turn green. Gorgeous. Hoyas are the best. I'm sorry if you can see my knees, me what looks like squatting right now. I, my, my lower back really hurts. And that doing that makes it feel a little bit better. Ooh. <laughs> the story with this, this um, also a I guess, it, yeah, it is considered a orchid cactus. Is uh, It's called the fern leaf orchid cactus. And um, one of my neighbors gave me a piece. And so I was like, oh, I want a fuller plant. And so I guess I got another one, another piece. This one's super young. I wonder if like, I mean, the color's super light in comparison. I'm wondering why that is. Like, did it get more light, less light? It's interesting. I don't know if we're actually going to load this video. <laughs> I'm not even kidding. Okay. Woo! This is the begonia. Devonport. Yep, it's very pretty. Oh, it broke. It calloused over pretty quickly though. But it's okay. It'll grow. Or I wonder was it, I mean, I can't even see where it broke off from. So it must have fell in. Like they didn't even notice that this was hanging there. Cause the callus, this has calloused over a long time. So it just it was like a bat hanging on. All right. All right, folks, this is the end of our journey. 
together all because of you, this guy right here. It's kind of fitting that we're ending with this plant yet again. The Peperomia incana, a fuzzy, what do they call it? Button something or another. Oh man, look at that leaf. <laughs> This is a huge leaf, ladies and gentlemen. I'm going to assume that they've been growing these and nobody's bought them. <laughs> or they just grow like crazy. Like, probably. I mean, not that they grow that slowly. Oh, wow. I mean, all three of them are great, but this leaf. Look at how big it is. That's a peperomia. That is impressive. I love it. All right. That is it. And it's so top heavy. That's really funny. It cannot stand up because it is too top heavy. That is a wrap, ladies and gentlemen. I. I have a lot of work to do after this video. <laughs> we'll be potting them up and looking at the damages to see how healthy the roots are. But overall, I would say um, the roots, I mean, overall, I say the, the plants look very healthy, um, which is a good thing. And even though they were smaller than I thought they would be, um, I'm happy with the purchase. It is more money that I would like to spend, but I mean, I got quite a few varieties that I didn't have before, and it's not like I could find these locally. So yeah, I think from that perspective, it was nice. Would I buy from them again? I don't know, I guess not. Um, yeah, I feel like if I look locally, I can, you know, maybe find some or get some through trade. Yeah, ten averaging ten dollars a pop. There's just so for some of them it seemed high, and for others was maybe even low because I feel like a lot of those Hoyas were more rare, and you know, not many people have them, or not yet anyway, or maybe. There's secret collectors out there that I don't know of or I haven't met yet. If if you're out there, um, message me. Uh, I would love to trade with you. <laughs> anyway, thank you for watching. Uh, I hope you enjoyed this unboxing and it was informative in the sense that you now know what to expect when you order from Taylor Greenhouses. Welcome back folks, sorry. Uh, that was not the end of the unboxing video. <laughs> we forgot about this one. This was actually, um, I got through a plant trade from Brittany. Hey, woke well up. We just woke her up. She was sleeping the whole time we were filming before. Aw, what is this? There are seeds in here, cool. I wonder what kind of seeds there are. Oh my look god. Oh, she sent me a drawing. <laughs> That's pretty awesome. You don't get this from a business. Okay, here we go. It is a Nepenthes ventrata. It is called, I know it as the pitcher plant. Care tips, only water with distilled water, lots of light, keep pitchers halfway full to keep from drying out. Do not use terracotta pots, only plant in sphagnum moss. Um, it gets nutrients from its pitchers. That's why their roots are black. Interesting. This ventrata is a cross of a highland and lowland, making it easy. That's so sweet. I have never received something like this. Love the drawing. 
Thank you, Britt. Thank you so much. That was very, very nice. So I've been wanting one of these and we were, Dan and I were shopping or we went to a um, nursery here in Seattle and was looking for one or looking at one and they wanted $16 for like a little two inch one. I didn't do it. It was meant to be. I got it through the trade instead. <laughs> so she said that she put three plants in here. Or at least I thought that's what she said. Booga! Why are you so curious all of a sudden? Huh? <laughs> so she put it in this little. Oh, I know what those seeds were. They are not seeds. It's blood, blood, blood meal. That's what I'm supposed to feed them with. Anyway, I'm not going to take this out any further, but I do see the three plants. There's two baby ones. And the big one. It looks like it traveled pretty well, considering that it came from Arizona. So there you have it. Yeah, they're not rooted, so I will have to do that. That should be fun. I like watching things grow. Don't you? <laughs>